We're talking more tech earnings. Oracle reports after the close. Shares are up about 35% over the last year, up about 8% so far this year. Alex, it's been in a downtrend, like I mentioned, since last June. Their Cerner acquisition, uh, they still haven't seen accretive uh, numbers from that. They're kind of digging out of a hole. They pulled back on M&A, which was always their uh, strong suit whenever they got competition in any space, whether it's cloud computing or networking, mm -hmm. they would just buy some competitors. Uh, but expecting growth in the cloud segment to jump about 23%. Now that's slower growth than last quarter, which was 25%, and uh, the same period a year earlier, year over year, uh, from 30%. So we're seeing slower growth in that cloud space, but it seems like the stocks kind of reflected that, that, that slower go growth narrative. Yeah, and that's why the key focus is gonna be on the cloud infrastructure component. Of course, I got cloud services as well, but cloud uh, infrastructure growth is gonna be the main topic of discussion more than likely. Uh, for Oracle, so keep your eye on that. Uh, applications will, will likely show a small acceleration in the growth, but not as quite as important of a, of a segment for them. Uh, total uh, sales growth is expected around 7% uh, year over year, while earnings are expected to expand in terms of its growth uh, upwards of 13%. So this uh, tells you a story of margin uh, improvement. and. Uh, right now, the expected margin expansion is around a full percent. So that'd be nice uh, if they're able to pull that off. Uh, when you're looking at uh, cloud uh, infrastructure services license support, 13% or so uh, to 10% sort of in that range is sort of what I'm seeing. So uh, if you do look at the consensus, it's just over 10% in real time, but there are whisper numbers looking for more like 13. So right. they, want, uh, they want to see growth there. As I said, that's the most important piece. Uh, when you're looking at... Uh, the application piece of it, that's where more of the growth is happening, but it's not uh, as big of a segment. So when you're looking at Oracle uh, and you kind of compare this to its performance, this had been a name that had been struggling on sort of a more medium term basis, let's call it three month to six month, but it's really turned things around the last week or so. So like the Apples, like the, uh, the, the, uh, the Google Alphabets of the world, mm -hmm. uh, sort of when the market itself has started to become a little bit softer, these underperforming names have seen this rotation in. So we talked about the Russell 2000, but it's not just small caps, it's been the underperforming kind of more value tech, you could say, of which I would say Oracle kind of loosely falls into as sort of a, a long, longer term blue chip name, legacy name. Uh, nice, uh, almost 3% rally over the last five sessions. Clearly a nice move here today, despite the fact that the market's lower.